On this episode of What Are You In For? It's a supercharged 67 Camaro. We recently started doing a video series called What Are You In For? where we spotlight some of the cars that are in process here at the V8 Speed and Resto Shop. And when this one's finished, we'll certainly do a feature video, but we decided to show you kind of what goes on before we get to that point. So today we're looking at a very cool 1967 Camaro. Uh, and of course the focal point on this one is the supercharged GM LSA 6.2 liter engine. These make 556 horsepower right out of the crate uh, with a different intake and exhaust and some tuning. We've been able to make 550 at the rear wheels, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and this one's wearing some really nice accessories up front. Uh, you can take a look at the uh, Wegner front drive system. So pulleys on LS engines are, are kind of a big topic. A bunch of different companies make them, uh, but Wegner does really, really nice stuff and we've had real good success. Not only do they look cool with that black anodized finish, but they keep the belts uh, aligned properly and they don't slip and they don't throw belts and the bearings are strong and they last a long time. So that's gonna be a, a nice piece up in the front of the engine. This supercharger hat is the same one that you find on a ZL1 Camaro. And there's one other style that is not black wrinkle coat. It's actually almost bare aluminum and it's a little bit lower. And that's the one that you see in like the Cadillac CTS-V version of the supercharger. In this case, we're gonna see if we can run this one uh, if we have the right amount of hood clearance. If we don't have enough hood clearance, we will change it to the Cadillac style. Uh, this car does have a stock GM style subframe, although all the front suspension is now Ride Tech tubular stuff and got a big front sway bar and the, uh, you know, the special bushings and a coil over shock. So the, the way the LSA fits in this subframe kind of dictates how high it sits which of course will dictate our hood clearance. Behind the LSA is a smooth firewall that we did in our fabrication shop. We did a lot of metal work on this car and we'll show you more as we get there. But right now you can see uh, we've got our windshield mocked up. This one is the original one that was actually got a crack in it, but we like to test fit all the glass and all the trim while it's still in the early metal work stages so that we don't get any surprises once the car's painted and you try and put the trim on and it doesn't fit. Uh, and of course, one way to tell this is a 67 is it has the corner vent window, as you see over there. And again, we put all that stuff together to make sure it works right. Um, inside the car, you can see our T56 Magnum six-speed handle poking through the uh, drive shaft tunnel, which uh, we raised to get clearance for that transmission. Uh, this one has a straight steering column at this point. I'm not sure if the owner wants to go with a tilt column or not, but today we've got the straight one. Uh, and then inside the car is going to have a nice set of TMI seats, uh, maybe a custom dash pad, uh, an audio system, decent gauges. Uh, you can look at the floor and notice the Detroit Speed subframe connectors that actually come through the floor and, and weld to the back of the subframe and the front of the rear uh, frame rails to keep the middle of the car from twisting when you put a lot of power to it. Uh, and in back, uh, underneath here is our Ride Tech. Uh, coil over four link suspension system and we added some mini tubs to be able to put a nice wide tire back there for better traction. This car's had a lot of metal work done to it. The roof skin is new, the quarters are new, the trunk floor, the tail pan, the main floor. So all the sheet metal has been replaced basically and uh, you can see here we have our rear window trim in place again to make sure that that fits really nice. Uh, one thing that is original to the car is this rear spoiler, um, which we are going to reuse. And it shows a, a blue and black color scheme, but it's not going to be this color blue. It's going to be this color blue, which is a custom color that uh, our painter Jeff came up with. It's uh, kind of a medium, but very metallic blue. It looks wonderful in the sun. And he called this atmosphere blue. Uh, so we don't typically do a lot of custom colors here because sometimes if an owner takes a car home and it gets scratched or chipped, that can be a challenge to match. But we do have obviously the proper recipe on the back of the spray out card. So anybody could recreate this, uh, this color if they need to, if it needs to get repaired. So it's gonna have this color with a, uh, a charcoal or a dark gray or maybe black stripe. We'll see, that decision hasn't been made yet. 
So overall, um, it's going to be a really nice, classy looking pro touring car. And uh, we're happy to be able to work on stuff like this. If you have a, a Camaro or, or any other kind of uh, muscle car that you want to get tuned up, metalwork, paint, engine work, whatever, you can feel free to contact us on our website at v8speedshop.com. And we'll show you another car from here in the shop next time on What Are You In For?